How you doing my chumbas? This video right here is all about getting you guys up to speed on exactly what my current mod loadout is going forward in the series. And then at the end of this video, I show you guys my method of modding this amazing game, Cyberpunk 2077. For those of you at home who want to play with my mod loadout or, 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 maybe would like a little guidance on how to mod Cyberpunk in general. Oh, and by the way, all the links to everything will be in the description down below. So let's start with the prerequisites. First up, we got Cyber Engine Tweaks by Ah So Leet. Then we got Red Script by Jack3KM4. Then Red 4EXT by Wops. And then number four, Native Settings UI by Nexus Guy 999 The majority of the mods in my loadout have one or more dependencies on these mods. New to the list is Native Setting UI. This amazing mod acts exactly like MCM menu in Skyrim. It allows you to tweak the uh, settings through an in-game menu rather than messing with INI files and the like. Good, good stuff. Now, let's get into the things that give my V her Siri-ish like looks. Number one, my Siri preset by Little Clouds J. 4K complexion and body for a female V by Avalon Kao. Claire's Ponytail by Shandi452 Custom Eye Colors by Silver EZ Redes Natural Freckles by Keys Aspect White Hair for V by Silver EZ Redes And with that, your V can look like my V, but let's face it, it'll just be a pale imitation because you see my V is, uh, is, is special, so yeah, mine is better and always will be better than yours, so uh, meh. <laughs> Okay, the next few mods kind of act as like a graphical bug fix, I guess. So, but look at that. Morph texture removal. Cleaner and better skin details by Halviuri. I guess that's how you say it. This mod gets rid of the forced overlay textures on V's head due to shape morphing to get rid of the distorting and pixelated effect. And then we have JB Clothing Fit and Better Gray Mesh uh, Fix by Sarunama. This mod gets rid of the weird gray patches or meshes that can show up around V's shoulders or neck. I don't know why that happens, but this fixes that. Now, we're gonna improve the general body shape of V with these bad boys. Body mod, better body shape by Spawn0000. This mod will change breast, butt, shoulders, neck, thighs, calves, biceps, and forearm size. It will change body shape and all clothes in game. Also by Spawn000, high poly body. This will add polys to crucial parts of female body, so it will make body mods more smooth. Custom Breast Jiggle Physics by Genicio14 because boobs. Best Jiggle Physics enabled for TPP, FPP, and photo mode by Genicio14 because boobs. But this time with first person perspective and photo mode. Then we got Kala's Cyberware Colors and Demo V Texture Edits by Guide This One Kala Hiria. I really like how this mod changes the facial cyberware facial wire traces, it just looks cool. Now, let's look at the rest of my loadout. You got System X by Cyber X. Install a cyber deck in an operating system, set a Vista and a Berserk at the same time. I'm playing this game as a power fantasy. I want to be able to use these things. AI Netrunners Enhanced by RMK1234 improves enemy Netrunners by adding a bunch of hacks. Most are restored co uh, content they can use on the player. So now they'll use something other than burn on you. Custom level cap by Scissors12345. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> Change the level cap and starting attributes to whatever you please. By the time I 100% this playthrough, I want to be level 73. Not 73, 79. And that all my skill trees are at 20 to indulge in my power fantasies. You can also use this mod to do a sort of a new game plus sort of start if you want, since you can decide how many starting attributes you have at character creation. Simple XP multiplier RMK1234. Configurable multipliers for all XP types, including level, street cred, crafting, stealth, all weapon XP types, engineering, etc. I don't want to do any prolonged grinding to reach level 79. No, I don't. So I'm using this tweak uh, to tweak the amount of XP in hopes that I'll reach level cap by 100%ing the game. Sensible stamina and athletics by RMK1234. Increases stamina cost for all actions so that you have to think about stamina, which makes stamina related perks useful. Also awards athletics XP based on stamina use, much more than base game, giving more XP for longer workouts. Now you don't have to use the Berserk exploit to level athletics. I think that exploit was fixed in patch 1.5 anyways. 
Custom quick slots for consumables, grenades, and cyberware abilities by RMK1234. <laughs> RMK1234 is really coming a lot, isn't he? He's like the NI Scion of Cyberpunk. Him and Scissors. Well, anyways, it adds custom quick slots and hotkeys to the bottom of the screen for consumables, grenades, and cyberware abilities. Fully configurable while in game with an in-game menu. Without this mod, I would never use things like food and boosters. So, yeah, this is good stuff. Improved minimap zoom by DJ Kovrick. Dynamic zoom for a vehicle minimap. The in-game solution isn't very good. This mod fixes that. And since I don't use fast travel, this mod is a must for me. Always show item level by des 3 I think that's supposed to be Destiny. Well, this makes it so all items will always show the level requirements of them, even if you're of higher level. I'm using this so I know exactly what level my stuff is, so I know how much I need to upgrade them. No camera auto centering, uh, centering by DJ Kovrick. Disables the annoying camera auto centering while driving. I don't know why it does that. Vanilla billboard lot improved by Walrus159. This will improve distant billboards and make the transition between lot textures less jarring. Improved vegetation logs by Dan Nick Light. Uh, like the last mod, improves distance vegetation logs and makes the transition between lot textures less jarring. High distant 2D cars by Bob G123. Have you noticed while driving the Badlands, it looks like there's a lot of traffic in the distance, but when you get closer, they just poof. Oh, these are distant textures meant to blend in traffic in the distance. This is really meant for a night city proper and looks terrible in the Badlands. This fixes that. Hide your gear by DJ Kovrick. Hides equipped gear for chosen slots, but keeps its stats and mods active. I like this mod because in this playthrough, I went, I went with the legendary corp set. Unfortunately, this set doesn't come with a headpiece. Now I can use anything I want and just hide it so it doesn't mess with my overall look. Ragdoll Physics Overhaul by Sketch Critic. It improves flexibility of limbs, resulting in a greater variety of final poses and more natural animation when you waste a ne'er do well. Also fixes vanilla collision issues that cause some NPC models to bend one leg backward in an unnatural angle. Simple Flashlight by Nexus Guy 999. How the hell does V not have some sort of flashlight? <laughs> you know, ugh. Well, this mod gives you a light search for those dark areas of the game. That's it, my chooms. That's my entire mod loadout. So, you can see all these mods in action in my current playthrough of Cyberpunk 2077, where I'm playing as a, a Corpo Netrunner. I'm gonna 100% this biatch. Come check me out. Have fun, guys, and I hope to see you in my series. So, now, let me show you guys how to install these mods. Alright, so let me show you how I like to install mods in Cyberpunk 2077. I'm not saying that my way is the best way, but my way is a very uh, reliable and almost foolproof way. You do it my way and you're almost guaranteed for everything to work. As long as all the mods you're installing are updated to the latest version of Cyberpunk 2077 and you're using a legit copy of uh, Cyberpunk, you know what I mean? Not using some free copy you found laying around somewhere. You know what I mean? I'm looking at you. You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyways. So, um, when I first started uh, modding Cyberpunk, I experimented with both Modern Organizer 2 and I, I fiddled with Vortex just a little bit. And I found that neither one was a really reliable way of um, installing mods in Cyberpunk. Some mods would work, some mods would kind of work, and some mods just plain didn't work. So, um... Just for transparency, I didn't give Vortex a fair shake. I just kind of messed with it, read up about it, found that it wasn't like up to the standards that I wanted. And neither was Mod Organizer 2 for that matter. And I'm a huge fan of Mod Organizer 2. If it wasn't for, for Mod Organizer 2, I wouldn't even bother modding Skyrim. I would just refuse to mod Skyrim completely. But I find that there aren't any good mod management uh, tools for Cyberpunk. I could be wrong. Maybe uh, things have changed and now there's some really good solid options. I'm not aware of it, so let me just show you how I do it. Okay, enough of that jibber jabber, that preamble, that preface. Oh, uh, let's just get into it. Alright, first thing I want you to do is uh, install Mod Organizer 2. <laughs> I know, I know what I just said, but we're not going to use Mod Organizer 2 the way it's meant to be. I, I merely use it as a tool for organizing things, and I'll just show you what I mean. Don't worry, it's going to work out, everything's going to be okay. So go ahead and download Mod Organizer 2 and install it. All right, the link's in the uh, the link is in the description down below. So just go ahead and download it. Manual install. Save the file. Close that out. 
go to your download folder and then install Mod Organizer 2. I accept next. Now you can install it wherever you want. You can go with uh, just default here. I guess that's what I'll do. Just don't put in program files. Don't ask me why. It's just been beaten into my head by so many different sources. Don't install anything into program fi files. At this point, it's just a superstition that I'm afraid to mess with. So just, yeah, install it wherever you want. <laughs> I'm going to install it with the default. Uh, C modding MO2. Next. Next. And then we're just going to go next. And I'm going to go ahead and create a desktop shortcut. Next and install it. All right, so now let's launch Mod Organizer 2. And we're gonna go to create a new instance. Kapow. Creating a new instance, what's an instance? Just click next. And we're gonna create a portable instance. Pow. Click on Cyberpunk. That's fine. This is where you installed it. Next, then finish. All right. So we got this going, you can close this out. In fact, you could delete that download that you got. Okay. Uh, the first thing I like to do is go into settings, click on the wrench and spanner here, put the theme and change it to something that isn't going to blind you. Like, I don't know, Night Eyes. Yeah, sure that works. So go ahead and open it up, whatever you want. So it is at this point that you're going to want to make sure you have an account with ne uh, with the Nexus mods. If you've been messing with around with mods um, in Cyberpunk, you probably know where it is. If not, uh, the link to Nexus mods is going to be in the uh, description down below but you will need to create an account. So go back to the wrench and spanner here, click on Nexus, and you're gonna see something here where I'm already connected to Nexus, but right here you're gonna click uh, connect to Nexus. It'll take you to the Nexus webpage, and uh, it's very easy, just follow the steps to link uh, Mod Organizer 2 to Nexus. Once you're done with that, you're ready to rock. And now let me get this organized here. Okay, now we're good to go. So now just follow, go down in the description down below and you'll see all these links to everything. And you're gonna go to each one of these links one by one and uh, you're gonna download these mods. So start with Cyberage and Tweaks. Copy this, go up here, paste, and enter. There we go, hey, what's with you? There we go. And what you can do is you're gonna download the game version, the latest version, right now it's 1.5 version two. Mod Manager download, click that. And you'll see over here, if you click on Downloads, this is Mod Organizer 2, click on Downloads, and there it is right there. Now double click it, you're going to get this message, this mod has been packed in a way that Mod Organizer 2 did not, or uh, don't worry about this, just click the green arrows all the way through, boom, 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 until you get to here, and then click OK. Alright, that's it, you don't mess with this from now on, don't even check the box, okay? Then move on to the next item, we're going to go to Red Script, copy the link there, here, paste. He's still gold. You can do the same thing. Mod Manager download. Go back here, double click, and install it. I know some of you are confused. You're like, JT, I thought we were going to use Mod Organizer 2. Trust me. Trust me in the process. Trust the process. You're going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. All right, we're next up red for EXT. So, as you can tell, we're installing all the prerequisites first, but honestly, it doesn't matter what order you install this stuff in. Uh, this is how I do it. So copy this, go here, paste and go, go to files, mod manager download, and yeah, this is pretty much what you're going to do all the way down. Every single one of these mods, this is, this is what you're going to do. Copy that. Paste and go. Mod manager download. Alright, so. I'm sure by now you guys know what to do. You don't need me to hold your hand for every single one of these because that's literally what you're going to do for every one of these. You're going to copy, paste, click on Mod Manager, download, and so on. So uh, let's cut to that when you got everything downloaded and installed. Just a quick note with my Siri preset, this isn't something that you actually need to install. Um, I just use this as a reference uh, to know which uh, mods I needed to install to get the look that I wanted here. And if you don't plan to use the same look that I'm using for my female V, you kind of you can skip this. But uh, the main reason why you want this, it gives you like the presets. You could use a save uh, game editor to click on a preset to automatically apply it to your V, but that's not what I do in this guide. I just like to um, manually enter all the entries in th during uh, character creation. And I've got those presets, the exact presets that you need in the description down below. So don't worry about this. Don't download this. Don't install nothing here. You're good. 
All right, another heads up for custom eye colors. When you click on files, don't click on custom uh, eye at all. If you're going for my uh, look for female V, you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna look for customized green. Click on Mod Manager Download. Double click it. Go ahead and install it. Now this one, there's probably gonna be one additional step because I don't think this mod has been updated in a long time. At one point, the file structure for mods was uh, changed in one of the Cyberpunk updates and some mods just didn't adapt to it. And I think this might be one of them. So what I want you to do here, right click on it, customize, open an explorer, then go to archive, go to PC, where it says patch, you want to change this to mod. Boom, just like that, and you're good. Okay, moving on. Okay, for natural freckles, uh, you go down, uh, download natural freckles vanilla one, edit, and then you can move on. Okay, so white hair for B is a little weird. No offense, silver easy or red is, but it's a little lazy, buddy. <laughs> but uh, when you install this one, when you double click, you can see a whole bunch of stuff here. You don't want to install all this. You want the uh, base game, mod, hair color, white, underscore two. That's the only one you want. So uncheck the boxes for everything else. All right, and then click OK. And now the file structure for this mod is completely wrong. The archive file should not be right here. So the easy way to do this, right click on natural freckles, open, see her archive, just copy this, close that out, go back into white hair for V, open, paste. All right, so now we got the archive fi uh, file. Click on uh, base game underscore mod hair color, cut, then go into archive, PC, oh, wow. Okay, see how this is patched? You need to change that to mod. Okay, go into mod, go ahead and paste it, and then delete key freckles. Okay, so natural freckles is what hasn't been updated. So let's go back into natural freckles, go to archive, PC, series so is patch. Whoops, we want to change this to mod. Holy cow. All right, double check everything, guys. Double check everything. Make sure it says mod. Yeah, okay, we're good. All right, moving on. All right, so morph texture for removal doesn't give you um, mod manager download, so just click on manual download, go ahead and save it, and then this is how you can install that. So coming back into Mod Organizer 2, up right here, it's gonna be the second from the left icon, this right here, it's gonna be install a new mod from our archive. You click that, go to wherever your download folder is, mine's right here, and then click on it, open, and here you'll see. See how it has just archive, just click OK. And so this file structure is now, in, that's incorrect. This older mod that wasn't updated. So go into white hair for V and do what we did before. Copy the archive, go into morph texture removal, open, paste. Then you can delete the readme, you don't need that. So go ahead and cut this uh, archive file, cut, go into archive, PC, mod, paste, and then delete the mod hair color white you don't have two instances of it. Okay, moving on. Okay, so for a body mod, uh, I recommend you go down and download this version here, version 2.0.8, the one with the full mod. Uh, and I'll show you how to do this, show you what a full mod is. So go ahead and download that. Got a little click. Choose which body type you want for your uh, female B. Go with normal, muscle, whatever you want. Then here, choose which body type you want. Small butt, small breast, small butt and breast, small uh, butt, average breast, yada, yada, yada. Doesn't matter, choose whatever you like. Big butts, small butts, you know, whatever you like. So, go so average butt, big breast, whatever, install it. There we go. Okay, moving on. For the high poly body, just go with the first option here. Then just install it. And then, you know, double check, because that was an archive. But this is pre-updated, so this is good to go. All right, keep going. Keep going, guys. You're almost done. For the breast jiggle physics, go with whatever you want. It doesn't matter. You can't choose anything wrong. With Kala, Cyborg Colors, and Demo V Texture Edits, once again, it kind of doesn't matter. I just go with the first one. I like the black and gold option. So just mod manager download and go. Okay, with no camera auto centering, go with the very first option here, no camera auto centering CET version. Get this one. Okay, 
All right, guys, with Hide Your Gear, I highly recommend you go with the Hide Your Gear Alternative. This is the one that has the interactive eyeballs in your inventory to get this to work. So, yeah, the second option here. Okay, Ragdoll Physics overall doesn't have the option to download with your uh, mod manager, so just manual download it, save it. And then in here, back to Mod Arknets 2, remember the second icon from the left, click on this, click on Ragdoll Physics overall, open. And here, see it's an archive file, so we gotta do the little thing with the file structure again. So click OK, then go to something that has, uh, go to Whitehair for V. Right click on Archive, copy that, go into Ragdoll Physics, open, paste, then cut Mod Ragdoll, cut that, go to Archive, PC, Mod, paste it, and delete the hair color white. There you go. All right, cool. So now that you got everything installed through Mod Organizer 2, uh, this is what you got. And this is why I like to use Mod Organizer. Now you have a really clear list of all the mods that you've installed. And now we're going to actually do the actual installation of the mods. We're not actually going to run any, anything through Mod Organizer 2. We're just using uh, Mod Organizer 2 as a tool just so we have a nice, clear, uh, and easy uh, access to the mods that we're going to install into the game now. So. From here, this is what I want you to do. It may be tedious, but trust me, this is the best way to manually install all the mods into this uh, into Cyberpunk. So, open up your Cyberpunk folder. Mine is installed in my Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Cyberpunk. You want to get to this layer where you see Archive, Bin, and Engine R6, all of this, you want to be here in Cyberpunk. Now, go back to Mod Organize 2, and one by one, right click on each mod, go into Open Explorer, and then here, this one has a bin file, right click, copy, I'm going to your cyberpunk folder here and paste and it's going to go into that bin here so close this out go to the next one red script open explore this one is r6 and an engine i'm control clicking both of those right click copy back to the cyberpunk paste and you're going to do this for every single one of these mods here open explore this has a red for ext and a bin control click both of those right click copy come back up here and paste so yeah, maybe it seems a little tedious, but trust me guys, it's worth it. Doing it this way pretty much guarantees that everything's gonna work. So I click on bin, copy, paste. So you can see bin folders, R6 folders, you can see archive folders, all kinds of stuff. So open, right click, copy, paste. All right, so go ahead and do that for all of those guys. And I guess I should have said it at the start, but it seems like it's common sense to me, so I'm sorry if I didn't mention it, but it, this is best if you're doing this with a fresh copy of Cyberpunk, and you don't have any like old mods or anything kind of sticking around. But you want to make sure that everything's stable and you can isolate what's working and what isn't, so yeah. Alright, cool. Once you've done all of that, uh, you're pretty much good to go. So, this is how useful that Mod Organizer 2 is. You're not going to do anything here. Don't press run, don't, don't do any of this stuff. So let's say you want to uninstall a mod. Like say you want to uninstall, I don't know, Ragdoll Physics. So uh, you would use this as reference. Right click, open, and you know it's going to be something in Archive folder. So go into Cyberpunk, go to Archive, right click PC, PC, PC. It's going to be in the Mod folder. So we're going to look for a Mod Ragdoll Overhaul. So click on Mod. And here's all the mods that we've installed. So just locate mod ragdoll. And there it is. And you would just delete that. That's how you would uninstall a mod. And that's pretty much the process you do for anything else that you do want to uninstall. So that's it. We're done with Mod Organizer 2. We're not going to mess with this uh, anymore. So just close up Mod Organizer 2. And now let's uh, fire up Cyberpunk. And I'll show you some additional settings that I think you should be aware of or be aware of. So go ahead and start up uh, Cyberpunk. Okay, so uh, when you first load it up, CET, uh, Cyber Engine Tweaks, first time setup, please bind some key combinations for toggling overlay. Uh, so you, you're going to click on not bind and then choose whatever button you want to uh, bind here. I always use uh, um, my tilde key, the same key that you would bring up uh, your console commands for Skyrim, that's the key I use. And then it'll bring it up here and it'll show everything that was loaded. Now from here, you got the additional things you need to do, so go to bindings. And here you see uh, your toggle flashlight key. Click on that and bind whatever key you want that'll launch your um, your flashlight. I use space 
which might be weird for some of you. I use a Tartarus, so my uh, key bindings are a little bit different. And then the next thing you want to do is click on inputs right here. And this is for your quick custom slots. You have to sign all the keys. So whatever keys you can use for your hotkeys at the bottom of the screen, uh, you would do that. So I just use five, whoops, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. Because I only use six uh, hotkeys. So then press the tilt key or whatever your hotkey is for our cyber engine tweaks. To do that, click apply, and boom, you're here. Now let's go to the main menu. And now here, you see something called mods. Click on that. You got some things set, uh, set up here. So here's custom level cap. So default is 50. I set it to 79 because I want to set all my attribute points to 20 in each one of my tech trees. Uh, uh, tech trees. And you can do your starting attributes and max starting attributes. So like if you want to do like a new uh, game plus kind of thing, you could, uh, you know, as many uh, attribute points you want. Max starting attributes for each skill tree. You can set it to 20 if you want. Then here's RMK mods. It's a simple um, XP multiplier. You know, you could set uh, your leveling speed to however fast you want it to go. You could like double the speed, street cred, cred double the speed, athletics, maybe by just 30%, 20%, whatever. That's all this is here. Now, quick slots. This is where you would uh, set up your uh, hotkeys or whatever. So right now, the default set for like um, the slot number one, hotkeys, the tilt. You're not gonna wanna use that to tilt, change that to something else because your Cyber Engine Tweaks uses that key. But here, you would set, this is where you would set the number of custom quick slots. There are hotkeys you have. Like I said, I use six right there. And then here, in type, you would set it to whatever you want. I like to set this as food and set that to five. And then you have to don't worry about anything else. Number two, this is set to optical camo. I set this to, uh, to drink and then set that to six. This is how I do it. You can do whatever you want. I'm just demonstrating. And then this one, I would set this as my optical camo wherever that is but yeah you just set it to whatever you want I set that to seven food I go to my health booster here set that to eight yeah so stamina booster you know whatever you see what I'm doing here right ram jolt there you go yeah, that's that. And then for flashlight, this is where you do mess with all your flashlight, your brightness, uh, the size of the beam, all that stuff here. You can leave it at default. Now I'm going to go ahead and start a new game so I can show you uh, some stuff. Choose whatever difficulty you're going to play. Okay, so I'm just going to go with this. No, no reason to hear. So here we go. This is what I'm talking about with um, uh, level and capper. So you got 85 points <laughs> to distribute. And so you could just whatever you want, as much as you want, 20, all, everything. Say, I see. All right, there you go. I think I've shown you everything I needed to show you to get you up and running, how to install the mods, and then how to configure the few things that you need to configure. So you can see, you know, it can be maybe a little tedious depending on how big of a mod loadout that you want to build, but the way I do it, there's, there's no really messing up. You're not going to have to worry about a mod manager screwing up your mods and wondering whether or not the mod's broken or if it's the mod manager's kind of like not working quite right. You know, any of those doubts, they're all gone by doing it this way. Like if it doesn't work, then you know the mod's having problems with the game itself and you could troubleshoot accordingly. So anyways, my Jones, thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Maybe you had a little fun too, huh? Well, anyways, check out my uh, regular playthrough of Cyberpunk. And you know what? Check out my Skyrim uh, videos too. I like to see them uh, pick up in performance and maybe match my Cyberpunk videos. <laughs> Either way, I love both games. I'm having a lot of fun. I appreciate everyone that's giving me a chance and uh, showing me your support. It's, it's really good stuff. So anyways, guys, have a great day, and uh, hopefully I'll catch you in another video. So